He's kind of a legend, especially in Montana. The chronicler who, who holds up a mirror to the community. You should become like Larry, you know, who likes everybody, knows everybody, gentle with everybody, and understands that everyone has value. There, there's a lot of love for old Larry Mayer. Um, do you know Larry Mayer? When you tell someone you're at the Gazette, that's their first question. I have such strong relationships with people all throughout town. You know, that's really unique. And then they tell you, yeah, he came and shot my daughter in a swim meet. That, you know, isn't the case with everyone who reports the news. It's important to them. It's got to be important to me. I, I've always tried to just get in the car and go. Being there is the most important thing. Born and raised in Livingston, Montana. And um, when I was in high school, I started getting interested in photography. You know, I built a dark room in my basement when I was in high school. And mostly what I did was look at National Geographic magazine. Get, getting a really good picture is a lot, is a lot like hunting. It's that same sort of excitement to making a really good picture. He's worked at the Gazette for 46 years now. A lot of times we overload him and give him way more than he can get to. And he always manages to get to everything somehow. He's been a pilot for almost just as long. I started looking at getting my pilot's license because I thought maybe um, I could I could work that into being able to use it in my job. The school that burned down in Plainwood, there was a flood on the on the Muscle Shell River. There was you know whatever events those were, I would fly there, do an aerial, and then go take pictures and talk to people on the ground. It took a lot of experimentation and there was a lot of failure, you know, and that's good. You know, failure is fine because it teaches you. Definitely a lot of photography in his future. The day Larry retires from newspaper work, you're not going to notice a difference in what he produces because he can't help it. He's driven, he's good at it, and we need him. The community needs him. His legacy will continue on. He's going to continue to do photography and continue to do aviation and still be an important part of the photojournalism community in Billings. He's not going to sit on his porch with iced tea and <laughs> swing in the hammock. That is not going to happen.